Hi guys. It is a soon to be rainy night here in the collapse of everything otherwise known as the Anthropocene event or the collapse of everything here on the soon to be rainy Tuesday night, March 5th, 2024. So, guys, I was just thinking, you know, I, I, I might need to create a, a, you know, another, like, pre-set rant. What, what would be the word? You know, like, I have my Good News Monday and my uh, Ain't Gonna Happen Friday. So I'm thinking, what is the next category? And I, I, I was actually thinking of the bullshit of the week story, but then I already have the ain't gonna happen and the good news story, which already overlap, and then to to pick out a bullshit of the week story that is not an ain't gonna happen or a good news story there, there's, is there such a thing? Well, I'm sitting there thinking about this today and I open up Yahoo News to the second biggest story on the planet today. Many versions and they start off with the New York Times. I know I'm not the, the only doomer uh, throwing rotten tomatoes at uh, the mainstream media in the New York Times. You know, it, 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 it's bullshit headlines like this that are going to get the, uh, the, the Alex Jones crowd, you know, the not just climate change deniers and the overpopulation deniers, but the doomer deniers are going to be waving this unadulterated horseshit headline that the New York Times needs to retract. Uh, okay, and you, if you've read this story, this is the second biggest story on the planet today uh, from the New York Times. Are we in the Anthropocene, the human age? Nope, scientists say. That headline, unadulterated horseshit. And, there, and there's some other similarly guilty. The, the, the scientists in no way, shape, or form have said we're not in the Anthropocene. Uh, no, no way. That, that, that is unadulterated horseshit. The editors at the New York Times know it. Uh, someone deserves to be fired at the fucking New York Times. That is not what, that, that, that in fact it is the opposite of what scientists have said. Where it, it, for any, I mean, I'll get into the story. Well, let's just, uh, let, let's, uh, what, what this is, is an example of, it, it's kind of like the, scientific version of a legal technicality. This is a tiny little, tiny little semantic, uh, just hair splitting. Uh, a, a very technical, scientific little technicality, uh, just absolute hair splitting over semantics no way, shape, or form saying that we are not in the Anthropocene. What they are saying is we're a hell of a lot deeper into the Anthropocene than, than what was before them. They, they, they had to throw it out because we're a lot deeper uh, into how fucked we are than, than they were trying to decide. So they're trying to decide uh, how fucked are we? But the New York Times is claiming that what they were talking about is are we fucked? 
So you read this you read this bullshit headline, and you think you're you're reading that the that the New York Times is saying we're not fucked. What the scientist said it not is we're not fucked. They're saying we are more fucked uh, than uh, previously thought. Is what they were saying. Uh, 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 unadulterated horseshit. So, uh, but it, but at least you, you know once you get down into the article, which nobody is going to do, they're 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 finally going to get to this little asterisk. Okay, take it away, you bullshitters. The Triassic was the dawn of the dinosaurs. The Paleogene saw the rise of mammals. The Pleistocene included the last ice ages. Is it time to mark humankind's transformation of the planet with its own chapter in Earth history? The Anthropocene, or the Human Age? Not yet, scientists have decided after a debate that has spanned nearly 15 years or the blink of an eye, depending on how you look at it, a committee of roughly two dozen scholars has, by a large majority, voted down a proposal to declare the start of the Anthropocene a newly created epoch, E-P-O-C-H, epoch, of geologic time, according to an internal announcement of the voting results seen by the Times. What this, this hair-splitting semantics is not talking about the word Anthropocene. It, it, it is this word epoch, in which uh, the New York Times does not even use in its headline. A little more, a little more on its headline would be, are we in the Anthropocene, the human epoch? Nope, scientists say, and uh, it, it, but this is no way, shape, or saying that we're not in the Anthropocene age. Uh, the, the word age uh, just isn't in their little uh, geologist jargon. It, it, it's an, it is an event. It's not an epoch. It's an event. But it is a fucking age. Okay, we all call it the age. And, and that has not changed one fucking iota, but I can see the, the, these goddamn uh, human supremacists uh, waving this bullshit headline around, uh, acting like that scientists have said uh, that humans are not destroying this planet. One more time, what they said today is humans have been destroying this planet a hell of a lot longer than since 1952. That was the question that was up for debate. And the answer is no, uh, it did not start in 1952. It started the fucking day that humans climbed down out of the trees. Uh, you know, some people would say the Industrial Revolution, some would say the invention of agriculture, some would say the invention of fire. I would say when we climb down from the fucking trees is when the, the event, what, whatever the, the little technical jargon term you want to use for it, this is the only thing that w w was up for discussion. And since the sense uh, anybody with a fucking brain, a, a, as I have been saying for how many years, any doomer with a fucking fourth grade education uh, being asked the question, uh, did, the, did the Anthropocene begin in fucking 1952? Uh, I, I, who the fuck are you kidding?
It's not an ain't gonna happen. It, 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 it's an it's been happening a, a shit longer than any 1952. Uh, and, and make no mistake about what the uh, debate was about. Um, a, a, anyway, uh, you, you know, all of this shit about the Holocene uh, beginning 11,700 years ago with the most recent retreat of the great glaciers, uh, you know, anyone with a fucking brain, we, we should have, we never, we never should have called it the Holocene. The, the Anthropocene had been in full fucking swing for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years, but the, the, the bullshit epic is the Holocene. It's never been the fucking Holocene since, since fucking humans got here. Uh, what they need is to get rid of the Holocene and just scratch the books. Uh, anyway, um, blah, 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 uh, okay, um, and so, you know, they, they break all of this technical jargon down about this very, very strict definition that, that they were looking at, and they had no choice but to say no. Uh, it, 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 anyway, guys, I'm not going to sit here and read this. Okay, to several members of the committee that considered the, the panel's proposal in recent weeks, this definition, the one talking about this bullshit, uh, that I've been blowing the fucking bullshit whistle on since I first heard it. The definition was too limited, too awkwardly recent to be a fitting signpost of Homo sapiens reshaping of planet Earth. Uh, this is one of the a, a one of the committee members, geologists. Uh, is from some uh, university in Denmark. Uh, I can't pronounce it, meaning this bullshit narrow definition that they had to make an official decision on as geologists. It constrains, it confines, it narrows down the whole importance of the Anthropocene. What was going on during the onset of agriculture. How about the Industrial Revolution? How about the colonizing of the Americas of Australia? And by the colonizing, what she's talking about are the noble savage colonizing, not the honky colonizing. Uh, this is, uh, here is Mike Walker uh, an earth scientist uh, somewhere from Wales, quote, human impact goes much deeper into geological time, you know, than any fucking 1952. If we ignore that, we are ignoring the true impact, the real impact that humans have on our planet, uh, close quote. Uh, anyway, uh, the, 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 this uh, is it, it, just uh, it's just bullshit. Uh, Geoscientists don't deny. Uh, our era stands out within that long history. Radionuclide, nuclides from nuclear tests, plastics and industrial ash, concrete and metal pollutants, rapid greenhouse warming, sharply increased species extinction. These and other products of modern civilization are leaving unmistakable remnants in the mineral record 
particularly since the mid 20th century, which of course is the great acceleration. What you saw uh, beginning in the middle of the 20th century was not the beginning of the Anthropocene. The event, the, the Anthropocene event was in full swing what happened in, uh, in, you know, by the mid-50s uh, after we started dropping uh, nuclear bombs is it went, you know, the graph went hockey stick is what happened uh, in, in the mid 20th century is when the Anthropocene became, went into overdrive and became the great acceleration and what uh, I was ranting about, you know, and what Tim Garrett and all these, and what we're heading into now is the, is the great acceleration from, you know, like 1952 uh, till now is getting ready to go from hockey stick to vertical. Uh, as we go into the, in, in, in way beyond uh, the Great Acceleration. Uh, anyway, still to qualify for its own entry on the geologic time scale, the Anthropocene would have to be defined in a very particular way, one that would meet the needs of geologists and not necessarily those of all the anthropologists, artists, and others who are already using the term. Uh, can you say doomers? Uh, that is why several experts have voiced skepticism about enshrining the Anthropocene emphasize that the vote against, you know, the official label should not be read as a referendum among scientists on the broad state of the earth. This is Earl Ellis, environmental scientist at University of Maryland, quote, this was a narrow technical matter for geologists uh, for the most part. This has nothing to do with the evidence that people are changing the planet. The evidence just keeps growing. Yep. Uh, and uh, Francine McCarthy, a micropaleontologist at Brock University in Ontario, uh, is the opposite of a skeptic. Uh, she helped lead some of the research to support ratifying the new epic. Quote, we are in the Anthropocene, irrespective of a line on the time scale, and behaving accordingly is our only path forward. Uh, close quote. Uh, then they, and then they break all this down. Um, okay, so now there, as long as we're on semantics, uh, we're bringing in the word event. Many of the planet's most significant happenings are called events, including mass extinctions, rapid expansion of biodiversity, and the filling of Earth's skies with oxygen. <clears throat> Even, uh, all right, so I guess it says that they, uh, anyway, the, we haven't heard the end uh, of this, you better believe. Uh, Time will march on. Evidence of our civilization's effects on Earth will continue accumulating in the rocks. Uh, quoting this uh, Petrowski uh, quoted earlier, uh, our impact 
is here to stay and to be recognizable in the future in the geological record, there is absolutely no question about this. So some fucking editor got that story uh, from who is the reporter, Raymond Zhang, and, and took that story and came up with this unadulterated headline, uh, are we in the Anthropocene, the human age? Nope, scientists say. Anyway, we had a little more, what was the headline from the conversation next to that one? Uh, okay, oh, this is by Earl Ellis. Okay, so one of the people that was quoted uh, in that New York Times article, Earl Ellis from the University of Maryland, uh, wrote, a, a, I guess, an opinion piece uh, in the conversation and uh, to counter that bullshit uh, headline in the New York Times and Earl, so this is Earl Ellis's, I'm not going to read the whole thing because a lot of it just repeats, so I'll just read a little bit of it. His headline, or the conversation's headline, the Anthropocene is not an epic, but the age of humans is most definitely underway. Okay, New York Times. Are we in the Anthropocene, the human age? Nope, scientists say. Okay, now the, the headline from one of the people the New York Times uh, interviewed, the Anthropocene is not an epic, but the age of humans is most definitely underway. You, you, you have got two headlines saying exactly polar opposite things, just if you read the headline, as, uh, in, in, in the vast, vast majority. Uh, uh, and and, and this, this New York Times headline is going to do a hell of a lot more damage than, than people realize. That, that fucking headline and, and, and the New York Times is giving the fucking uh, Alex Jones cocksucker crowd a, uh, j j j just a uh, get out of jail free card. They're going to be waving that around and, and, the, and, and the people, there, there, there's, I guarantee fucking to you right now, there's clueless fucking morons a ranting on YouTube right now, waving the New York Times around, you know, the same gang of people. What I love about this gang of people is they always talk trash about the New York Times, that it's a bunch of limp dick lefties, whatever, they're full of shit, and, and then when the New York Times is full of shit, they wave the New York Times around. See? It's in the New York Times. It's got to be true. <laughs> and, and, and so they're doing this rant, not reading the fucking story. They're reading the headline. Then all of their clueless fucking moron listeners are hearing them say the New York Times said humans are not damaging this planet and, and this meme is going to be starting. And, and, and these fucking, uh, you know, and, and, and well, I, I don't know if I will use the T word in this case, but most of the people uh, will be Trump tards. Anyway, let's listen to someone with a fucking brain. Uh, Earl Ellis, the Anthropocene is not an epic, but the age of humans is most definitely underway. And then they show some picture from London, uh, you know, taking a, taking a hundred years before uh, 1952. Um, okay, take it away, Earl. When people talk about the Anthropocene, without putting the 
the narrow definition, the narrow word epic after it. When people talk about the Anthropocene, they typically picture the vast impact human societies are having on our planet from rapid declines in biodiversity to increases in Earth's temperature by burning fossil fuels. Such massive planetary changes did not begin all at once at any single place or time. That's why it was controversial when after over a decade of study and debate, an international committee of scientists, the Anthropocene Working Group, proposed to mark the Anthropocene as an epoch, as an epoch in the geologic time scale starting precisely in the year 1952. The marker, you know that they usually come up with this, was radioactive fallout from hydrogen bomb test. Um, and yesterday the commission responsible for recognizing time units within our most recent period of geologic time, technically the Sub-Commission on Quaternary Strat Stratigraphy rejected the proposal. The, the proposal. Uh, they determined that adding an Anthropocene epoch was not supported by the standards used to define epochs. To be clear, to be clear, this vote has no bearing, no bearing on the overwhelming evidence that human societies are indeed transforming this planet. Uh, as an ecologist who studies global change, I served on the Anthropocene Working Group uh, until 2023. I resigned because I was convinced that this proposal defined the Anthropocene so narrowly that it would damage broader scientific and public understanding. Hallelujah! Amen, brother! This is exactly what I have been ranting about for years. Here you go. Some, uh, you don't need a fucking doctorate in ecology to, to say, to claim that humans didn't start fucking this planet till 1952 is a flat out lie. It is a fucking lie. It, 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 it is a statement so ludicrous that nobody uh, in, in, in their right fucking mind could say that. You know? It, it, it's absurd on the face of it. I would have voted the same fucking way. For the same reason. It would damage broader scientific and public understanding by tying the start of the human age to such a recent and devastating event, nuclear fallout, this proposal risked sowing confusion about the deep history of how humans are transforming the earth from climate change and biodiversity losses to pollution by plastics and tropical deforestation. Uh, then anyway, so he breaks this down uh, about how this, you know, Paul Crutzen, uh, we, we've all heard, uh, we, we've all heard this, and then he talks about the word epoch, but thank, all right, so this man, I, I hadn't read this article yet, uh, okay, uh, <clears throat> the rationale for proposing to define an Anthropocene epoch starting around 1950 came from 
overwhelming evidence that many of the most consequential changes of the human age shifted upward dramatically about that time in a so-called Great Acceleration. Wow! Identified by climate scientist Will Steffen and others. That is what happened. Uh, so, why was the epoch rejected? Uh, <clears throat> the proposal to add an Anthropocene epoch to the geological time scale was rejected for a variety of reasons, none of them. None of them related to the fact that human societies are changing this planet. In fact, the opposite is true. The fucking New York Times knew this. They need to, uh, to print a retraction and an apology for the single biggest fucking bullshit headline of 2024. Somebody needs to be fired. Whoever wrote that bullshit headline. Uh, probably some Alex Jones cocksucker wrote that headline. Uh, if there is one main reason why geologists rejected this proposal, you know, other than it being uh, patently bullshit, it is because its recent date and shallow depth are too narrow to encompass the deeper evidence of human-caused planetary change. As geologist Bill Ruddeman and others wrote in Science Magazine back in 2015, quote, does it really make sense to define the start of human-dominated era millennia, millennia after most forest and arable regions had been cut for agriculture." Close quote. Uh, but don't worry, according to this man with a brain, uh, the lack of a formal definition of an epoch will not be a problem uh, for science. A scientific definition of the Anthropocene is already widely available in the form of the Anthropocene event, which basically defines the Anthropocene in simple geological terms as, quote, a complex, transformative, and ongoing event analogous to the Great Oxidation event and others in the geological record." Close quote. So, despite this unadulterated, well, not the, despite the no vote on the epoch, the Anthropocene will continue to be as useful as it has been for more than 20 years in stimulating discussions and research into the nature of human transformation of this planet. Thank you, uh, Earl C. Ellis and uh, Elliot Jacobson. If you're listening to this, I uh, I, I I wish I had the energy to uh, interview this fellow, uh, Earl Ellis, so uh, he, he could blow the fucking bullshit detected uh, whistle on that, on that New York Times bullshit. Fucking New York Times. You, you, you know, I mean, reckless. That, that was reckless, uh, just flat out, uh, that, 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 that was reckless disregard for the truth that uh, was anybody with a fucking brain uh, should be able to uh, sue the New York Times for slander and libel. That, that was a, a, a in-your-face, 
reckless disregard for the truth by the fucking New York Times and, and, and now uh, Yahoo News making it uh, the second biggest story on the planet. A big fucking lie. Big fucking lie. Anyway, with that, uh, seems the rain has begun here in the, the age of humans. So, uh, I need to get out and celebrate the rain while I still can. The rain of humans. Uh. So, if you come across a bullshit headline of the week, that is not an ain't gonna happen bullshit story or a good news story. Uh, please send it along, but uh, I, I'm gonna have a tough time beating that bullshit headline of the week story. Oh my gosh.